welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about some of the important theories of material science and metallurgy for the gujarat technological university in the examination of the 2019 and 20 and the subject code is 3131904 and generally that will be offered into the third semester as per the new syllabus of Gujarat Technological University. So generally these all theories it will be important as from the examination point of view. So let us start with the chapter number one and that will be the introduction to material science and metallurgy. So theory number one state the importance of material science and brief explain about engineering requirements of the materials so here it will be the two combination of the theory and that will be the total package of seven marks sometimes it will be only state the importance of the study of material science for three to four marks and explain the engineering requirements of the materials it will be also for three to four marks then next question and that will be the importance so explain the selection criteria for engineering materials for the 4 marks or 7 marks. Name at least one application of the following engineering properties of the materials. So here the important one and for the examination point of view. So starting with the hardness, toughness, creep, strength, plasticity and stiffness. So either that will be the property it will be given into the examination so you should write according to the applications and if the application is given to you you should write about the which kind of properties is required as from that particular applications. So at least one seven marks of questions is from the chapter number one. Then next chapter two and that will be the crystal geometry and crystal imperfections. So from that draw the most common observed space ladder structure into the metals. So in that case BCC, FCC and HCP. So generally for 3 to 4 marks. Second question atomic packing factor for the crystals of simple cubic, FCC and BCC structures or sometimes the effect of the packing factor onto the crystal geometry of the materials for 4 marks theory. Then important one nuclei and the growth of a nuclei for pure metal and binary metal alloys for 4 marks. Important theory as from the examination point of view and you can also prepare for the GATT examinations. So for that point defects and that point defects it will be considering as a Frankel, short key, substitutional and interstitial kind of point defects. So generally for the 4 marks. Effects of the grains and grain boundaries onto the properties of the structure. So generally containing with the four marks theory. Difference between the edge dislocation and screw dislocations. So as from the GTU examination concern. So that will be having a importance for four marks theory. Then chapter number three metallic materials. So stress strain cause for the ductile materials. What is fracture? Explain the complete ductile fracture in detail for 4 marks. Difference between macro and micro examination 4 marks. Explain the steps of the micro examination or you can say sample preparation for the micro examination for 7 marks. So maximum possibility of this theory. Construction working of the metallurgical microscope for 7 marks. So that will be having a good chance. Spike test for 4 marks. Then chapter number 4 solidifications and the theory of alloys. So in that case solid solution of metal alloys or you can say types of solid solutions. The maximum chance for the 4 marks. What is the significance of liquidus, solidus and solvus line into the phase diagrams or you can say importance of the liquidus, solidus and solvus lines in case of phase diagram for 4 marks. Most important questions as from the examination point of view for 7 marks and that will be what is Gibbs phase rule and define the system phase and degree of freedom so that the degree of freedom in eutectic point in a binary phase diagram is becoming 0. 
Draw the cooling curve for the pure metal, binary metals and binary eutectic alloys and validate by the Gibbs phase rule. So maximum chance from the Gibbs phase rule. An important theory, Hume row 3 rules for the binary metal alloys. So either that will be the Gibbs phase rule or Hume row 3 rules. So one of out of these two theories that will be having a maximum chance for the examination point of view. And phase diagram with lever arm rule for the four marks. Chapter number five phase and phase equilibrium. So in that case, explain the isomorphous transformation with net sketch or in another form of these questions like both the metals are soluble into liquid state and solid state for seven marks. Then second questions. Explain the eutectic transformation with the total insolubility. In another way, both the metals are soluble into liquid state but insoluble into solid state. And the third pattern and that will be explain the eutectic transformation with partial, generally partially solubility. So in another way, both the metals are soluble into liquid state but partially soluble into solid state. So out of this theory, the one having a maximum chance. Then chapter number six, first important questions and that will be the allotropy of irons, then iron carbon diagram. So 100% definitely chance for the iron iron carbon diagram. So in that case, first one draw the iron carbon diagram and explain with the paratectic transformation. Draw the ion carbon diagram and eutectic transformation. And third one, the, draw the ion carbon diagram and explain the eutectoid transformation. Or in another way, the, draw the ion carbon diagram and explain about the austenite to perlite transformation. Or in some another way, here it will be not display, but draw the ion carbon diagram and discussing about 0.8 percentage of carbon or eutectoid steel and the state the critical reactions of iron carbon phase diagram. So one seven marks theory from this chapter. Then chapter number seven heat treatment of steel. So most important questions and that will be the least the purpose of the heat treatment process or you can say define the heat treatment process and differentiate between annealing and normalizing process for the seven marks question. Define the critical cooling rate or you can say CCR of steel and show the same onto the TTT diagram with the complete labeling for 7 marks. Explain the different heat treatment process on a TTT diagram or you can say explain the different cooling curves on TTT diagram for 7 marks. Which are the various surface hardening processes and explain the induction hardening process with the need case for 7 marks. Explain with the next case of mild tempering and horse tempering process for 7 marks. And discuss the mechanism of the quenching of the steel, state the advantages and drawbacks of the water and oil as a quenching media for 7 marks. And what is tempering and need of the tempering process. So at least one 7 marks question from this chapter. And last one, what is hardenability and explain the Germany and quench taste to check the hardenability for 7 marks. Then chapter number 8, powder metallurgy. So explain with the flow chart of the basic process of powder metallurgy for 4 marks. Most important question for 7 marks and that will be give the advantages, limitations and applications of powder metallurgy. Explain in brief sintering process of powder metallurgy for 4 marks. Explain the compacting process for powder metallurgy for 7 marks and different powder making processes for 7 marks. So minimum 7 marks theory from the powder metallurgy process. Then chapter number 9 non-destructive testings. So in that case explain the ultrasonic methods of inspection or can say ultrasonic testing UT with reference to its working principle, advantage, limitations and applications for 7 marks. State the advantage and importance of the non-destructive testings over or destructive testings of the materials and differentiate between X-ray radiography and gamma-ray radiography of the materials for 7 marks. 
suggest and explain a simple economical NDT method to determine the minute surface defects in the large size of the components. So that would be nothing but dye penetration test or you can say liquid penetration inspection for 7 marks. Explain the magnetic particle testings for 7 marks. Explain radiography for 7 marks and explain the eddy current testing for 7 marks. So minimum 7 marks theory from the non-destructive testings. Chapter number 10 corrosion of metals and alloys. So that will be the new chapter in this syllabus. Discuss the cathodic protection of methods of corrosion prevention for the underground pipelines for 4 to 7 marks. What are the factors affecting the rate of corrosion and explain the hydrogen evolution and hydro oxygen absorption mechanisms of the corrosion for 7 marks most important questions. Material surface treatments or you can say metallic coating for the 4 marks. Types of the corrosion for the 7 marks theory. So at least one question out of these questions having a maximum chance into the examination point of view. And some of the questions from alloys and cast irons. So in that case define the alloys and also state the composition properties and use of an any two copper alloys for 7 marks. State the composition and the specific applications of the moon's metal, German silver and naval brass for 4 marks. What are the purpose of the alloying give the effect of the nickel as an alloying elements for the 7 marks. What are the properties of the bearings for 7 marks. What are the properties of the aluminium alloys for 7 marks. Define alloy also state the composition property and use of and 2 aluminium alloys for the 7 marks and explain the why alloys. So these all are the important questions from the material science and metallurgy. If you like it then subscribe and share and you will also find most of the answers or you can say easy explanation in my other videos. So thank you very much.